Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and peace and blessings of the Akim that's doing this work in truth and sincerity. And uh, hey, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai for really giving us this truth and, you know, the times that we're living in and the prophecies that are, that are you know, happening, you know, daily. You know, right before our eyes, you know, and it's a beautiful thing, man, to really be in this, uh, this truth, you know, and, um, you know, this is the, this is that great mystery, man, that's not given to everyone, man, you know, and, you know, when you just out in your, you know, goings, you know, in the world, you know, just, uh, you know, your comings and goings on your daily basis, you run into these jakes, man, and, um, they don't know what the hell is going on, you know, and, um, I had a, uh, one conversation with a couple of co-workers and, um, you know, these guys, they, they have uh, big plans, man. You know, these guys are, are, are looking, you know, four or five years down the road, man. You know, they got uh, big plans for, for what they want to do. You know, you know, they, they you know, they want to uh, uh, talk about these uh, different uh, vacations. They want to talk about uh, uh, getting work done in their house, you know. You know, uh, uh, purchasing certain things, you know, and um, they don't really reserve the times that they're living in, man, you know, and, you know, meanwhile, everything around them is crumbling and these these jakes, man, they're just in this bubble, man, you know, and there's a lot of pride, man. I'm running to a lot of these people, these coworkers, man, that, that walk around with a, a great sense of pride, man, you know, and, um, you know, uh, their God is, is, is money, so to speak, man. You know, and it just goes goes to show you, man, how, how much of a slave mentality uh, these jakes are, man. It's because, you know, you, you have uh, uh, one 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 group of people that get mad at another group of people at work because they're getting uh, overtime, so to speak. So you have this type of envy, envy and jealousy thing going on at the job, you know, and it's like, you know, you're in slavery, man. You know, although, you know, money is a defense, but the, but the simple fact that, you know, how Jake is, man, Jake is like, you know, Jake is so consumed with, uh, 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 being up to their, their nose and, in 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 just, uh, things that are, uh, beyond their means, so to speak, you know? So the thing is that they have to continually keep on working, you know? to um with you know to uphold the things that they possess you see you know and and this is what blinds the people man you know the lord really has these people blinded man and they're really just really focusing on uh uh the moment you know as far as you know making that money man you know and um i'm gonna bring a quick precept real quick this is um luke Chapter 12, verse, uh, let's start at uh, 13. All right. And one of the company said unto him, uh, which is Yahweh Shai, Master, speak to my brother that he divide the inheritance with me. You know? And uh, there was this, this, this Jake, this particular Jake here was simple, you know? So he asked Yahweh Shai to, you know, Make his brother divide the, the inheritance with him, you know. So here it is. Yahweh Shai is on the scene, preaching the kingdom of heaven, man, you know, and telling the people to repent, cause the time is at hand. And then here you got this, you know, this uh, individual asking Yahweh Shai to uh, uh, um, divide the inheritance to him, man. You see, you know, right? So Yahweh Shai um, answers him and says. And he said it to him, man, who made me a judge or a divider over you? And he said unto them, take heed and beware of covetousness. For a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of things in which he possesseth. You see? And this is the snare that Jake is in now, man. You know? Okay? Because they covered everything, man. You see? They covered uh, 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 work. They covered... Uh, um, 
money, you see, and 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 possessing things, you know, and and life doesn't um consist of the abundance of things that you possess, man, you know, because it's all gonna be dissolved, man. You see, it's gonna come to naught, you know. You see, the scriptures say that 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 the money is gonna be no good. A time is gonna come where money is gonna be no good. You're gonna be throwing your gold and silver in the streets, man. You see. Okay, it it it, it, it profit, profited you not anything. You see? So going back to this uh um conversation with these Jakes, so you know, um uh, they turned to me and asked me, uh, uh, you know, like basically what is my goals, you know? And uh, you know, I had to be the the spoiler of everything, man. You know, because I'm like telling them, listen, man, I mean you know, you you're putting all your faith in 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 this 401k, and you know they they basically want to up the ante on what they want to you know put into that 401k, and if you know anything about the 401k plan, it's it's tied to the stock market, man. You know, so when I made that statement, this proud, proud Jake, he pulls out his phone, and he shows me uh, uh the Dow Jones, and he said, look, the numbers is better than ever, you know, and it's you know. Like the stock, as far as the the Dow Jones being at, at at record levels, you know, and you know, uh, through the spirit, you know, I already know that this is a, a inflated man, you know, this is just giving you people confidence, man, you know, to be able to uh, continue to spend, you know, to continue to uh, uh, go ahead and indulge in, in in something that that's really uh, uh, um, deteriorating, man, you know, the economy we were really in in a recession, man, you know. And really, people just play off of numbers, man. And uh, he knows that, man. You see? So, you know, he showed me that. And, uh, you know, he, you know he, he, he's making it seem like he has all these chips in the right place, man. You know? But these people are going to be caught with their, with their pants down, man. You know? And I told him, I said, listen, you don't understand how the dollar works, man. You know? And I basically explained to him, you know, you know if you can go back years ago, you know, when you went to the supermarket and you spent a hundred dollars, okay, and you came out with with an abundance of uh, of food, you know, your cup, of, your shopping cart was li literally overflowing with with food, with, over with a hundred dollars, you know. Now the hundred dollars is basically diminished into maybe two bags of of groceries, man. You see, you know, but Jake doesn't understand how the dollar works, and they soon, so how soon they forget, man. Um. Um, the crash in 2008, man. You see, how soon do they forget that? You know, all right. They they don't understand that that what um put them in in a, in a jam, put people in a jam back then with the economic collapse. You know, and now what you having now is you're having uh, well, what is called a subprime um auto loan uh, uh thing that's going on here, which is which meaning is that the banks are giving auto loans to people that can't really afford these cars, man, you know, this is how Jake, you see Jake really stepped it up within the last, uh, I would say the last 10 years, you know, as far as the, the, the choice of, of vehicles that they are, are, are able to obtain and drive, you know, and these people are, are basically defaulting on these auto loans, man, you know, and once you fall behind three months, man, they're coming to repossess, repossess it, man, you know. But this is there's a subprime order loan uh, uh, thing that's going on right now, man. And basically, everybody and their mother is just getting a, a, a vehicle that they cannot pay for, man. You see, all right. And that's gonna be added to the to the ec economic collapse that's gonna happen, man. You see, okay, right. So getting back to the scriptures, right. So you know, life doesn't uh, 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 consist of 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 the abundance of things which which you possess, man. You see. Because they look at that 401k and they, they get prideful, man. You know, they, they're, they're like, you know, this is uh, money that I'm going to have uh, put up for the future. You know, this is what they say to themselves, you know. But um, let me read on here, right? Verse 16. And he spake a parable unto them, saying, the ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. You know, right? And he thought within himself, saying, what should I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. So this Jake, this particular Jake, you know, uh, you know this conversation uh, basically happened uh, uh, a few days ago. And then 
uh, again recently, he made a statement saying, oh, I have so much money, I don't know what to do with it. You know, I mean, he was making a, 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 a you know, kind of like, you know, boasting, you know. This is what he was doing, though, because, this, you know, he works a lot of overtime. And, and, you know, like I said, I guess, you know, he has he feels like he has this financial uh, um, situation in order. You know, you see. So he, he had made this statement, you know, which is a foolish statement to make, you know. So, so you know, this parable really kind of compares me to this individual, you know. Right. And he said, this will I do. Right. Because he's trying to figure out within himself, you know, where should I bestow my fruits? Because you have plentifully, you know, and he said, this will I do. I will pull down my bonds and build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. You see, you know, so this is what he planned on doing, you know, and Jake, you know, they plan, they have plans, man. They're looking ahead, you know, they, they got their mind set on, 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 on one thing, you know, which is, uh, uh, uh. What what are they gonna do with with their uh, uh, finances? You know, you know. I mean, we all got to live in this uh, 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 forbidden place, man. You know, but you know, uh, uh, Paul said, man, uh, uh, just give me something that's uh, uh, just to be content with, man. You know, you see, all right? Because we know what's going on, man. You know, and hyperinflation is coming, man. You know, and that's basically another thing that I told them. You see, but they don't understand that. You see, they're in the now right now, you know, they're in the now and they just think that how things are now is going to continue on this way, you know, in the scriptures that's in the Apocrypha, when it talks about um, uh, the, um, the adversity and, and affliction and then when you, when, but when you're doing good, you know, I basically, how soon do you forget the aff affliction, man, you know, or, or the bad times, so to speak, you know, or when the bad times come. Hey, them good times that you were thought about, you you they're to click quickly escape your your uh uh your thought process, man. Okay? Because of uh, uh affliction, man. You know, and oppression. You see? You know, right? But this this the individual here in the scriptures said that he will um build greater, okay, to bestow his fruits, right? Verse 19. And I will say to my soul, soul. Thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thy ease, eat, drink, and be merry. You know, and it's the same spirit Jake is in, man. You know, they feel like the 401k that they're building up is going to uh, uh, be laid up for, for their retirement, man. You know, these people are really thinking about our, our retirement, man. You know, you see? And, and the, the particular job that I do, you know, they take your the best years... Of, uh, of of your earnings and they uh factor that into what you would be getting as far as what a, what a pension would be so to speak you know but um um you know they're in a uh, 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 a very at ease uh, uh situation here man you know just like this individual man you know he said uh uh, uh you know take thy ease eat drink and uh, and be merry you know all right but see they don't understand the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh man. Okay? Because now we're going to get into it, right? Verse 20. But the Most High said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? You see? Okay? Because you don't even know when you're going to take your last breath, man. You don't even know what the Lord has in store for these people, man. They don't know what they, what's in store. You know? The Most High is not even in their thoughts anyway. You see, Yahweh Bashim Arashah is not in the thoughts of two thirds of Jake, man. You see, you know. So read it on, right? So he that layeth up treasure for himself is not rich towards the Most High, you know. And and really, that's that's the point right there, man. You know, these people are are, are making themselves rich uh, 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 as far as uh, uh, money. You know, basically working like a dog, really, man. You know, because the money doesn't come in no easy kind of way. You see, okay. But but the, Jake has to keep up with the Joneses, so to speak, man. You see, but they're laying themselves up to be rich, uh, 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 uh towards 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 for himself, but not being rich in in the wisdom knowledge of of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You see, you know. And, and and that's that's the mindset that Jake is in, man. 
you know? But um, I want to jump down uh, to 33, you know? Because, um, hey, you know, Yahweh Shai went through a series of, of, of parables, man, you know? But um, let's jump down to 33. Let's see, Luke chapter 12, verse uh, 33. Sell that ye have and give alms. Provide yourselves bags which wax, wax not old. A treasure in the heavens that faileth not. Where no thief approacheth, neither moth corrupteth. You know? And that's talking about the, 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 the tangible things of this world, man. You know? You see, when you when you when you dealing with the tangible things of this world, okay, you basically uh uh you know, hey, you can lose that. You see, you know, uh uh, uh a thief can come in and take it, you know, and 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 it's not uh, something to where uh, a morph can can corrupt it, man. You see, right? But this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, okay, is 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 the treasure that's being that that you lay up for heaven, man. You know. Coming into this knowledge, man, you know. But we understand that we have to. Uh, we work. We working in the, in 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 the circle of of of, the, uh, of these people, you know. And and they're not they're not chosen, man. They're not gonna get it. You see. And this is the type of thing that we have to deal with, you know, uh, day in day out with these people, man. Just dealing with people that are that are just lost, you know. And when you try to uh, talk to them in in a sensible way, they understand it not. You see, you know, and it's not even really uh, as far as really getting into the scriptures with these people. It's just really just using wisdom, you know, just sound wisdom, man, you know, and, and knowing that, hey, do the scriptures, man. We know what's going on, man. You see, OK, and, and Jake doesn't even think to consider, man, you know, they don't think to consider that that things are, 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 can turn are, are bad real fast, man. They don't understand that. They they forget how uh, uh, things can just change in, in, in an instant, man. You know? And that time is going to come, man. You see? Right? Right? For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also, man. You know? So whatever you set your mind on, okay, that's what that's what it's going to be consumed with, man. You see? And they're not thinking of you, how about Shem Abishai? You know? Right? Let your loins be girded about and your lights burning, man. And this is really just for the elect right here, man. You know? Right? Read it on. All right? Four more verses. Um, and ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord when he will, will return from the wedding that when he cometh and knocketh they may open unto him immediately. You know? And, and that's really that's really the thing, man. You know, we on point, man. We we're waiting for you, Howard Bashima. We're making ourselves ready, man. You see? We're, we're, we're that we're, we're that 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 bride, man. Waiting for the bridegroom. You see? You know? Generally just 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 getting ourselves ready. You see? You know? And, you know, because we we understand, hey, when when the Lord is gonna begin to uh, visit the earth, man, you know. Okay, with with those wise virgins, man, you know, right? Thirty-seven. Blessed are those servants, whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you, that he shall gird himself and make him make them to sit down to meet, and will come forth and serve them. You see, you know, hey man, and we're gonna be joint heirs with you. How about Shema Boshai? You know, okay. The Lord said it is his it's his pleasure to give us the kingdom, man. You see? And Lord willing, we're, we're among those 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 men. You see? You know? Right? Verse 38. And if he shall come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them so, blessed are those servants. You see? You know? And them angels are always uh, 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 watching, man. You know? Hey man, they 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 hey brothers are seeing uh, our chariots at, at the camps, man. You see, okay, and they, and the Lord seeing His men are uh, uh, on their watch, man. You know, you know, 
that that that's 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 that second that's that second and third watch, man. You know, of of their chariots appearing at camps, man. You see, and 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 brothers can, can attest to that, man. You know, you see, and and this know that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and have not suffered his house to be broken through, man. And these people are going to be have their houses broken through. They're going to be uh, 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 broken hearted. OK, because their their so-called dreams are going to be dashed. OK, and then they're going to be dashed to pieces, man. You know, hey, whatever way that you have about Shemar Shai sees fit, man, of, 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 of their day of visitation shall be, man. You see, you know, right. Be ye therefore ready also the son of man cometh at an hour. When you think not, you know, and we have to really watch, man. And that's what we're doing, man. You know, we, we see we see things happening fast. You see, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I want to touch on that, you know, um, uh, on another lesson, you know, but these these prophecies are, are rolling, man. You know, you see, right. Um, next scripture I want to get is. Uh, let's see, let's get. um. First Thessalonians. Let's start with uh, five uh, and one. You know, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in a night, man. You know, and we understand that though people are going to be caught off guard, man. The day of the Lord is really when. Uh, the calamity starts to hit, man. You know, okay, okay. The day of the Lord is, is is when he starts to when he begins to visit this earth, man. You know, and when people uh uh show uh know that this is from on high, man. You know, but they don't know what to expect from it, man. They can't make they can't make make of it. You see, you know, right? For when they shall say peace and safety. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and it, they shall not escape, you know? So that destruction is shall surely come, man. Just as that child, okay, has to come out of out of that woman, man. You know? Okay? And and those birth pains, man. You see? Okay? They surely go hand in hand. As just as 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 that child has to come out of that woman, okay, that's given birth. You know, okay, and with her being in travail, it's just how that 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 sudden destruction shall come, man. You see, right? Read it on. But ye brethren are not in darkness that the day shall shall overtake you as a thief, man. You know, because why? It's because we see. You know, we have the eye saw. You know, right? Ye are all children of light, verse five, and children of the day. We are not of the night nor in of darkness, man. You know, because these jakes are not even 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 discussing uh, what they want to call current events. You see, it, it's 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 irrelevant to them, man. They they cannot. You can't even hold the conversation with them. And then you know, Jake has a uh, very minimal knowledge on on anything. You see, you can't hold the conversation with these people, man. They don't know what's going on around the world, man. You know. You see, right? Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober, man. You know, and and, and being, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, having our eyes peeled, man. You know, having your head on swivel, man. You see, okay? Because these people are, are definitely sleep, man. They're they're just dead, man. They're just dead. You know. All right. Final precept. Um. Let's go to Second Peter's. All right, three, verse nine. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that we that any should perish, but that we should come to repentance. You know, and we know that the time is at hand. You know, and this is why we're we're trying to make ourselves white, man. You know, clean. You see, you know, okay, and 
hey, men count this as slackness, man. The Lord, man, they, they, you know, people would say that have no uh, understanding of the scriptures. Oh, they're always saying the Lord was going to come, you know, or they say, uh, uh, you know, they basically say, uh, uh, where's the promise of I coming, so to speak? You see, you know, the Lord is not in their thoughts, man. You know, so they, they automatically count it as slackness, man. They don't take these words are uh, 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 seriously, man. You know, neither do they fear, you know, you see, right? But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt, melt with fervent heat. The earth also in the works that are therein shall be burnt up, you know, so you and your your possessions and in and, and, and your, your tangibles. OK, all right. Shall uh, be burnt up. You see, you know, and this place will pass away with a great noise, man. You know, right? Thermonuclear destruction. Okay, you don't see that. Okay, you know. Now, like, like I say, even when you even watching a little bit of the fluff, the little bit of fluff, you gotta gotta see something, right? Even with that, you know, right? Verse eleven. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, man? You know, what manner of person should you be at that point, man? Knowing these things, you see, the elect us, you know, because we're children of the light, you know, right? Looking for and hasten unto the coming of the day of the Most High, right? Wherein the heavens shall be on fire and shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, you know? What manner of person should we be, man? You see? Watching, man. Being sober, you know? Making ourselves clean, man. You know? Okay? Repenting. You know? Grabbing um, hold of this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You see? Okay? Right? Separating yourself from this world, man. Okay? 13. Nevertheless... We, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and new earth. Okay, because it's in the scriptures. Okay, that's part of the promise. Okay, right? Wherein dwelleth righteousness, right? And we're hasting for that. You see, right? Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, right? The elect, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. You know, and Lord willing, you know, we, we stay on that course, man, to be within that, that circle, man. Okay? You know, we want to be friends of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? He said, he said, I no longer call you servants, but I call you friends. You see? You know, we want to stay in that, that mindset, man. You know? Well, we just got to be long-suffering, just deal with these, these bonehead jakes out here, you know, that are... are, are uh, that have plans, man. They have these big, big plans, man. You know, you know, under the foot of E, man, and and trying to uh, uh, live it up, so to speak, man. You know, which, which is foolish, man. You know, which you nothing but a, but a slave, man. You see, okay. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And peace and blessings to the Akim that's out there laboring and doing this work in truth and sincerity. Shalom.